Levi, explain to us how you be standing on business. How I stood on business? You ain't watched the show? Man, break it down for us. Captain Irwin gave me one last order, man. He told me kill Zeke. Y'all seen that scene. I pulled up on him in an open field. No buildings around for me to swing on. Took them months to animate that scene of me whooping his ass. Oh, yeah, I watched that for sure. Next season, he turned my mans into titans and thought I wasn't going to kill them to chase his ass down. Oh, no. Nah. I understand he blew me up. Y'all really think I'm dumb enough to do that on purpose, bro? They had to nerf me, bro. They knew if I was peak form in that final episode, it wouldn't have been no rumbling, bro. I would have been dealt with that shit. That might be facts. But mind you, the world is ending. Everybody getting stepped on. I got one thing on my mind. I got I got half my body. I got no fingers. My leg don't even work. Y'all seen what I was doing. I saw Zeke, and I killed Zeke. Oh, shit. There was no stopping him. Hmm, he stood on business. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Sasuke Uchiha, man, word on the street is you standing on business. Business? Man, I've been standing on that. Oh, word? From the beginning of the show. I had one thing on my mind, and that was the get back. Revenge. The target might have changed multiple times, but the goal was the same from the jump. The first target was my brother, Itachi. I thought he killed my whole clan. I didn't know the truth. So when I got back on him, I found out it was the village's fault. They the reason he did that. Oh, nah. So I, you know what I did? What you did, gang? I went after the Hokage at the time, Donzo. He was at the five Kage summit. I didn't give a fuck. I pulled up on all five of them Kage and their bodyguards. I had one thing on my mind, and I was seeing Donzo in a pack. Say on God! I didn't care who's gotten I don't I didn't care who got in my way. Kaze Kage, Suchi Kage, Mizu Kage. I didn't give a fuck. The right Kage got in front of me. I took his motherfucking arm. You crazy? And Donzo? He tried to take Karin hostage and thought I was going what? I was gonna pause up, I was gonna panic, shot right through her. I ain't give a fuck. And I walked him down. I know you seen that. Now I seen that. You seen me walking down. Facts, facts. Even after killing Donzo, that ain't feel like my lick back. I wasn't satisfied. So even after the war, after we beat Kaguya and we sealed her away, Naruto thought I was all buddy-buddy with them. I said, nah, job ain't finished. Job ain't never finished. I told him, bring all five Kage right here. I'm going to kill them all on the spot. Got to get rid of everything from the old world. I wasn't going to stop until, you know, Naruto beat some sense to me. But I still stood there. Yo, Tengen, break down to us exactly how you stood on business. Well, picture this. You lost one of your hands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're poisoned. You tired as fuck. But you got to clutch up. That's what the fuck I did. Oh, what? <laughs> Pulled up. Should have seen the way that fight scene went. I was fighting the upper moon. We beat him. I survived. Did that with no Demon Slayer mark because, you know what I'm saying, all three of my wives was watching. I can't go out like that. Oh, yeah. Did I mention I have three wives? That's a very important part of the story. This um, man got three wives. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We beat him and I survived the mission. With Tanjiro on my team. So you have plot armor then. Do you know how impossible it is to survive a mission with Tanjiro on your team? That's a death sentence. <laughs> Going on a mission with Tanjiro is a death sentence. And I came back from that shit. Man, you already had me at three wives, gang. Yes, yes. Magna? Well, I don't know how the fuck you made it onto this list, but apparently you be standing on business. Let me break it down to you, my boy. Asta and my Captain Yami... Beat their devil possessed, the strongest one of the dark triad. They beat him. Yeah, yeah. Right? Tell us more. They ain't let my boys recover from their fight, and they pulled up and they sneaked us and they took Yami. I wasn't even there. So you know I had to get back. Get back. I ran into the motherfucker Asta and Yami had to double team. He he detected my magical power. He thinking it's about to be a magic fight. I understand. <laughs> this is a magic show. But that wasn't gonna happen. I had to let him know it was none of that magic shit. Oh, word? I, all that overpowered spell shit was not going to fly. I put him in the Soul Chain Deathmatch. <laughs> Equalized our stats. And I showed him some of these. <laughs> we threw hands in a magic show. All right? Everybody underestimated me. The fans ain't believing me. They was like, why well, I'm pulling up on Dante. Shit, me too. I was like, because I got this and I got this. I put the beats on that boy. Got back for my captain. If that's not standing on business, I don't know what is. Oh, no. Yeah, well, 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 Roy Mustang. Care to explain to us how you stood on business? Explain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro. Y'all know who I am. Roy Mustang. I don't got to explain nothing. They know. <laughs> they know. Why the fuck did he just get up and leave? Yo, Zoro, how you be standing on business? Nothing happened. Excuse me? Explain. Nothing happened. What the fuck are you telling me, bro? Nothing happened. Where you going? 
Senku don't even be throwing hands, bro. How the fuck you stood on business? Oh, I kept track of time. I was being a timekeeper standing on business. No, 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 no. I was frozen <laughs> for over 3,700 years. And I kept track of the time, the date, all that, by counting out the seconds. Oh, no. What the fuck? That's fake OD. Yeah. And I also, you know, built a cell phone out of scratch. What? Brought back electricity. Huh? Introduced some primitive people to life. He Thomas Edison. I brought ramen back to the hood. Cup noodles. Back to the hood. Oh, now he got it. Yeah.